Welcome to another presentation by Fly Tying Yoda, featuring Jack Gillis, a member of the Roadkill Roundtable. I'm going to start just behind, maybe an eye length bike. We'll wrap the wire all the way back to the bend of the hook. Okay, and then at this point, we're gonna wrap it back to the thorax area, side by side wraps at this point. And then we're gonna build up a thorax made out of wire. Once we have that, we'll go back to the end of the hook once again. At this point, we're gonna take five or six pheasant tail fibers. And we're gonna tie them on top to form a tail. At this point, before we pull them tight, we can adjust them. On a size 16 hook, Sawyer said about an eighth of an inch behind the bend. Uh, this is a size 12, so, you know, maybe three eighths, quarter probably at tops. And then we're going to tighten them down once we've got the length set. We'll bring them behind the wire to use it as a rope. And then we will tie forward. And you're not actually trying to cover 100% of the copper here. Uh, Sawyer liked the translucence of the copper when it becomes wet. So he would leave a lot of it actually showing. And then when we get back up, to that point, take one wrap and tie it in. And then we're gonna fold it back over to form a wing case. So we'll go back to the beginning of the thorax, fold it over and form your wing case. Now, depending on how long your fibers are, there's two ways that Sawyer tied this. Uh, the other way he would bring, if the uh, pheasant tail fibers are long enough, he would bring it forward one more time and tie it off at the eye of the hook. Uh, a lot of his flies were tied off at the back like this one is. And they, don't think it was so much a variation as it was just Frank Sawyer was quite uh, expedient, as they say, and he simply ran out of uh, length to go back forward again. So he tied it off at the rear. So then we can do a whip finish. <laughs> 